Well, this morning we brought in a doctor to answer your COVID-19 questions. Let's check back in with Dr. Frank Lavecchio. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. So we have a look at our first viewer question this half hour. They're asking if I had COVID back in November, wouldn't my body have produced antibodies? And if so, why do I still need to get the vaccine? Uh, it's a great question. We think that most people have antibodies for at least three months. We don't know how much longer after that, depending on how sick you were and what your body's doing as far as making antibodies, it's probably at least up to nine months. You want protection from COVID-19 for much longer than that. So you still have to get the vaccine or we still recommend that you do get the vaccine, uh, even if you've had COVID-19 before. All right, Dr. Lavecchio, uh, this next question is one that we've been we've been hearing a lot because these vaccines we have in America are two doses. It says, what if I miss the second dose? Am I still protected? Uh, the short answer is yes, you are still protected. Uh, in the studies, they recommended two doses, and that's what we know, and that's what we recommend as physicians, clinicians, et cetera. But if you just get one dose, it's about 82% effective, okay? And that was one of the studies that showed that. If you get the two doses, 95%. So I think, you know, you increase your percentage, your chances of not getting COVID-19 if you get the two doses. I'm not recommending getting one dose by any means, but uh, if it does happen, you're still are protected to some degree. And our third viewer question this morning is asking, I have the antibodies from when I had COVID-19. I'm currently donating plasma. Can I be a carrier? Uh, that's a great question. So the chances of you getting COVID-19 twice are very, very low. And it's only occurred, you know, less than 10 times in the world where people have tested positive twice. You might have somebody that you know that tested positive, realized, but truly positive where they looked at the virus and not just a particle of the virus and tried to grow it in a culture. Lots of times you are still shedding the virus and will still test positive for much longer than the 10 or 14 days that are recommended that you quarantine. In other words, the test might still be positive because it's picking up some signal, okay? But uh, it's very, very rare that you will get infected again. As far as carrying it again, interestingly enough, in the studies, in the Moderna study, uh, a small percentage of people who were vaccinated got swabbed every day and they still were carrying the virus. So they weren't sick from it, they were still carrying it. But that number was much, much less, less than a third less of those people who were in the placebo arm or who did not get the vaccine. So you still could probably carry it, you still should you know, use your precautions, common sense, et cetera. All right, so we do have one more for you, and this is from Russ in Fountain Hills. And look, doctor, we love having you here on the show, but, but uh, Russ is asking, do you expect to still be on TV one year from now answering questions about the outbreak? Well, I hope I'm still answering questions about public health, emergency medicine, medical toxicology, addiction, things that uh, you know, I'm passionate about. Uh, about COVID-19, I mean, remember, we hit these terrible landmarks one in a thousand Americans have died of COVID-19. You know, we just hit that landmark recently. Uh, it's one of the most common reasons to die, depending on where you, you put it. But in elderly folks, it's the number one reason to die in our country right now. So kind of crazy. Uh, and, you know, it didn't exist a little over a year ago. Mm -hmm. But I do expect to be talking about it. But I think heart disease, you know, accidents, pulmonary disease are going to come back into play and it's going to be some degree of normalcy in about a year. Oh, I sure hope you're right. All right, Dr. Lavecchio, thank you so much for coming on with us this morning. Again, questions are coming in at 602-444-1212. We appreciate your expertise. I love how level-headed he is about yeah. this whole thing. I appreciate your time here this morning. So